This is just a quick video on uh, yet another gun that I purchased that I really don't need. I don't know, if you're like me, um, sometimes we make um, impulse purchases, I guess. Whether it's on uh, budsguns.com late at night, you can't sleep and you see a deal and you order it. Or what happens to me a lot is uh, the local gun club that I go to. They always have those, uh, you know, those little index cards on the wall, and they always have guns for sale, and I don't know, I'm a sucker. Sometimes I, I see someone selling a gun, and I just buy it, and then I never sell them. I think a lot of guys on YouTube buy and sell guns a lot, and uh, quite frankly, I've never sold a gun. So, uh, that being the case, I got, I got a safe full of guns that I really never shoot, and they're not safe queens, it's just, there's just no reason to have them. And uh, this one right here is an example of one. It's a beautiful gun. It's what they call a Uberti Cattleman. It's a 357 Magnum. It's um, a copy of the Colt uh, single action. And, um, it, you know, it's pretty. I, I don't even know what I paid for it, to be honest with you. It was like six months ago. And uh, I bought it at someone at my local uh, range. But I really only shot it the one night that I bought it. I haven't shot it again. Um, I don't know. I'd just be curious to know if there's other people out there that buy these guns and they don't shoot them. Um, this is really no practical um, reason for me to have this gun. I'm not a cowboy. Um, I watch a few John Wayne movies once in a while, but that's about it. And, and this is a cowboy gun. So the only way to carry it would be in a holster like this and outside the waistband. And, uh, you know, and if to, to shoot it, and I did a safety check it already, but we'll do it again. To, uh, to shoot it, you have to cock the hammer each time. It's called a single action, and bang, you, you, you hit the, you pull the trigger, and you do it. It's got a nice feel to it. It's heavy as hell. I don't know how much it weighs, uh, well over a pound. And it's got that nice click to it, but, again... What the heck am I going to do with this gun? I don't know. But it has like that nice, uh, I don't know what you call that kind of a look where it's blued and brown. Uh, it's certainly a pretty gun. Uh, but I guess it's just going to sit there in my safe because I certainly wouldn't uh, think about selling it unless I really needed the money. And, you know, knock on wood, I hope that don't happen too soon. Uh, there's no reason for this gun. But, um, you know, again, I'm just wondering on... Uh, if there's anyone else out there in the same boat that buys guns and uh, for, and then they don't use them, so uh, you know, reply back in your comments or you know, let me know, uh, you know, if if I'm the only crazy person that does this. And one last thing, while I have this, even though there's probably 10,000 videos out there on how to load a single action, let me just do it quickly. Um, what what this gun has is what's called a loading gate on the side, and even though it's a six round revolver the safe way to have this gun is to only put five in it. And the way you do that is you cock the hammer back to the second click and you put one round in and then you skip an empty round. And then from there you put five more in. So you rotate the cylinder manually, nice and easy, gun pointed in a safe direction, finger off the trigger. You do that and you put the other five rounds in and at that point you close the loading gate and then you cock the hammer and that does put the now this exposed firing pin when you lower it it's now lowered on an empty hole in the cylinder so if you were to drop this this is an old-fashioned gun it there's it's not resting on a live round um, so I'm sure that's been said about 10 billion times on YouTube but you know, it's just one more time I'm just going to say it. But anyway, the purpose of the video was to find out if there's any other people out there, like myself, that buy these guns that they don't really need. Um, so, uh, again, reply and uh, let me know what your thoughts on that are. But certainly it's a pretty gun. It looks nice. And I guess if you're into the whole cowboy action or pretending you're a cowboy, uh, if you live in Texas or that, uh, you know, I guess it's nice to have, but it doesn't really do me any purpose. It's just really taking up space on my shelf, but now that I took it out, to be honest with you, I'll probably go shoot it now because uh, it's just been sitting there such a long time. 
Anyway, so that's uh, just uh, some quick rambling thoughts of mine, and uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, take care.